What is going on guys, today we are looking at the new showdown cards, so we are just going to have a look at them and see are they worth it, should you do them, and basically what is the deal with them. So obviously we have got the UCL match between Bayern Munich and obviously Barcelona, and we've got two centre-backs, and again, two pretty good centre-backs in, in kind of total. We have obviously got Sule and PK, both of them requiring two SBCs, which I can imagine roughly are around about the same. It is an 84, one in form and a Bayern player, 70 chem, nothing really too extravagant there, and a 65 chem, 86 rated team with a minimum of one Bundesliga player. So again, not necessarily terrible, rare Electrum and small prime gold, which isn't awful. And then for PK, which I can imagine is the same, it is, again, an 84, one in form, a Barca player, 70 chem, and an 86 La Liga, and obviously 65 chem. I wonder if they have updated the front screen to tell us. I'm pretty sure they're going the same route. So basically, in, I believe, full time, if it's a victory for either of them, obviously they go up by plus two. So instead of being an 88, they go up to 90. But I'm pretty sure with how these showdowns were last year, if they're exactly the same, then obviously if there is a draw and it goes into extra time, it is just a plus one for both of them because technically the match is a draw. Sometimes they don't count draws and it never can be. So if you can finish the match, then obviously that is what it is. But I think for me, me, this is going to be an interesting one to see who becomes 90. I would probably recommend that Bayern Munich is going to be the team, but again, you cannot count out Barca. None the less, obviously, no Messi is normally the, the biggest concern there, but both of the centre-backs look absolutely fantastic. We've obviously got Sule at 88 with 83 pace, 87 defending and 86 physicals, um, obviously 6'5", so a big unit of a player. I would be looking more at kind of like an anchor, which would take his pace up to about, what, 88, and then and obviously taking his defending physicals probably over the 90s by the looks of it. He's got shocking jumping for a centre-back as well. Then obviously we have PK. Um, for me, a legend of the game. Obviously one of one of the iconic defenders that I can imagine when he does retire. We'll get him linked up with Puyol in an icon centre-back. Um, obviously 6'4", high medium. Leadership is his trait. And again, he's had a nice pace increase from being an 84. He's gone up by plus 4, taking his pace up to 80. As well as having the defending and physical that is very very nice indeed composure is fantastic even agility balance is quite nice and i think if i was kind of picking between these cards i'd be looking definitely at pk over sule but i would probably try and complete both anyway 88 rated for two sbcs you get packs back and the chance of both of them or one of them going up is pretty nice you've got great composure on him passing's really nice as well for pk i think both of them fit themselves into their kind of role of squad if we were just to quickly have a look and just see what centre-backs each league have. Because I know Bundesliga have a few. I'm thinking um, with La Liga, they do have a few as well. So really, Umpre Meccano, who I'd be looking at. Tapsoba, Klosterman. Obviously, we've got... Um, LaCroix, who hasn't had an inform yet. Oxford was free. So he probably does come in as one of the better centre-backs, but I think there is arguments that you could go with others. Um, and in terms of League Earn, or La Liga, in fact, you are looking more... Say PK's up there, obviously Eda Militao, Diego Carlos. Umtiti was an SBC way back when. He was okay. Kayunde, when he gets a special, that's going to be number one. But I think, again, PK's kind of sitting in that top three spot. Obviously, Alaba's not a bad card, to be honest, to him. So there is kind of arguments for both of them. I would personally recommend doing both if you could. I think the SBCs are relatively easy to craft. You do only have two days to get them done, so we will be interested, and we will do a review later on. So let me know down below you're going to be completing any of them and do you like the showdown idea but that like and subscribe peace